Hello there. Today I'll be showing you how I curl my hair using foam rollers. Also called sponge rollers, these more modern innovations allow for more comfort during the setting process. I separate my hair into several sections, much like you've seen me do before in other tutorials. Here I am sectioning off the fairy top, front section, and the two side front sections. Next I'll pull the rest of my hair into a ponytail in the back for now to keep it out of the way. To begin rolling the hair, I take the first front side section and split it into two horizontally. Wet the very ends of the hair with plain water from a spray bottle. Make sure the tangles are out and keep the section as flat and ribbon-like as possible. Roll gently around the foam roller, here I'm using a size 1 inch roller, and ensure that ends are tucked inside. If ends are becoming a nuisance, take a rat tail comb and simply whirl it around inside the curl you are creating to coax those ends into the shape. Continue rolling the roller to the base of the head, careful not to use too much tension. Roll the bar to the underside and pin in place with a pin curl clip. This will ensure you avoid dents along the top of your curl. The most important thing to remember when using foam rollers to curl your hair is to make sure you do not roll them too tightly. This would result in uneven curls that are hard to brush out into the final style. For this basic set, I've used two different sizes of foam roller. I used one inch rollers around the face for the side and front sections. For the back, I used one and a half inch rollers to get a bit of a bigger and looser curl. Here on the top front section of hair, I will split it into two and then into two again to create four curls that will all roll down and forward towards my face. Rolling your curls in different directions or patterns will result in a different set in the end. Look at old pin curl or roller setting patterns to get an idea of how you would like to place your curls. Remember, you can use that rat tail comb to smooth in flyaways if they're just not behaving. For this basic set, I'm rolling the entire back down and under. As you saw for the front, the side curls rolled down and under, and the top rolled forward towards my face. After I've rolled the bottom of the back, I separate the rest of the bulk of the hair into three vertical sections and then tackle these one at a time. Fight back when your arms get tired. Forward, down, 
down, down again, uh, yes, down. Make sure you roll those bars underneath and pin them for the top of each section to avoid those dents. Now I'm going to wrap my set curls in a net scarf so that they don't move around too much while I sleep on them. To secure the net scarf, I will use a couple of hairpins. Ready to sleep. Rise and shine, it's time to do our hair. Take off that scarf and see what's happening. Remove all the pin curl clips that you've used to avoid dents. When removing each foam roller, do so carefully, unrolling each curl from the roller itself. Don't pull or tug and result in frizzy curls. Once you've removed all of the rollers from the sides and back of your hair, start running your fingers through the curls to break them apart. For this set, I want a curly look, so I'm separating the curls as opposed to smoothing them. I remove the top front rollers last, so I can focus on that section in more detail. One roller here got stuck, but I simply brush through against my hand using that rat tail comb and realign the curl. I separate each of these curls into two before I start running my fingers through them. What a look! Brushing these curls with my fingers to start, and then with my Denman styling brush, I brush them against my hand and against my fingers to avoid as much frizz as possible. This front section may need some taming. Now it's time to shape the hair. For this I use my Denman styling brush, my hands, and lots of time and patience. With this much curl, you could easily pin things on top of your head for a more poodle-like style. Once you see something you like, give it a good spray with hairspray. The curlier your set has turned out, the more you can brush it to achieve a smoother look. Though sometimes it takes me longer to brush out a foam roller set due to the high take of the curl, I think it's worth it to not have to do heat setting in the morning, especially in the summertime when it's already so warm. I also find that setting my hair at night with foam rollers works well for when I am traveling. That way I can get up and go in the morning without having to do a heat set on my hair. Here I am putting in a bit of back combing at the top front section. Continue to alternate between smoothing and pulling apart curls until you get a style that you approve of. Once everything has fallen into place, use a couple of pins to secure, pomade to smooth, and hairspray to windproof.
Give everything one final spray, and you'll be ready to face the day. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. My goodness, Gazoo tight. <laughs>